So they may be going to fight some Russians. I'm ready for them if they want to. But they're not. Right, as expected, the Tuscans are arriving in there. Holy moly, another stack of Tuscans. That is an obscenely large Italian army. And unless the religious war strikes soon, that's only going to be bad things for me. But at least one of the Polish forts has just gone down there. But yeah, those Tuscans are no joke. There are so many of them. And unless we uh, really root out the Lithuanians and Poles, it's going to take a long-ass time. So what can I do about that? I can set my people to not attach to me. Get rid of my uh, mercs. Split them up into twos. And tell them... Hmm. No, I'm willing to be super desperate here. Because I'm not too concerned if a merc dies. Tell them to get everything they can under occupation so that the, uh, the enemy has fewer places to run to. And we have more to work with. Should take care of the enemy navy as well. Tuscany is still a concern though. They're going to be on the warpath. And they have plenty of cannons to tear down my walls. Jake, why would Saxony help you out in this war? Because Saxony is pathetic. They're in debt and they have... Uh, an attitude towards the enemies that I do not like. But yeah, it's that debt that's hurting me here. I need to keep my own troops relatively close to the Russians or else it's all going to go peak tong for me. That's looking like it's going to go peak tong anyway like this. Yeah, those guys are going to run to their death. Nothing too much lost there though. It seems the Russians were sent packing there. Hmm. Yeah, this is quite scary. I need to stay closer to those. Uh, oh boy, here come the. Uh, Here come the Tuscans in their many. Hmm. See how well this goes. Only having the Russians here as a friend is a little uh, concerning. But we'll do what we can. Tuscany is no way going to want out of this war anytime soon. But we'll keep diplomat free just in case. So this ain't so hot. They are going to come to fight me here. I wonder if the uh, Russians would back me up or not. Because that's the thing. My army is neither particularly large or particularly powerful. They're heading up north, they may just help us out. Sadly, those losses are terrible for me. Okay, so he's coming to back us up. He's coming in from all directions, actually. I'll be honest, I'd rather back out. Stop taking so many horrible losses. See how he manages that. Oh, not very well is the answer. Okay, this war is not going so hot. In fact, it's going quite unhot. And Riga, as they do, coming in to ruin my day. But that's all right. We uh, we sent in those mercs on the expectation that they were going to die. I wasn't aware Siena was involved in all this, but they must be a vassal of uh, Tuscany's. Tuscan here looking for the PP. Yeah, no kidding. French conquest of Picardy has put them in a war, but doesn't seem to involve anybody that's interesting to me. Sweden, perhaps, but it's Tuscany and Poland that's uh, of great import to me right now. 
and the great export is on my manpower. It just went away somewhere. In fact, as troop numbers go, this is a uh, terrible war for me. And getting Tuscany out would be one hell of an operation. Well, actually, they don't seem all that concerned about uh, such things. You know what? We've occupied plenty here to keep people busy. Let's head on south. Specifically to Manly Manchua. Because it's a landlocked fort. Parma might be better. But we'll see what happens. Uh, well, this is something that can happen. Look at all these troops pouring around here. It's uh, terrifying. I'm not sure I want to fight the CNEs and weaken my army even more. But there's no time to waste either. No, I need that fort in one piece. So we'll root them out. Jake, can you not repay the loan of Saxony for their bodies? Even if I did. Attitude towards enemies is too much there. They must be really friendly to somebody involved in all of this. Yeah, the Saxons are friendly towards the Poles, which is a pain. So getting you out of this war means getting rid of my overlordship of Brandenburg. But let me assure you, that is not about to happen. There we go, let's get our... Uh, Don't really want to fight them in this situation, but we'll do it anyway on our way down to Tuscany. Hopefully we don't get in enormously squished here. But with a 9-0 shock roll, things should be okay. Undeservedly good rolls for me there. Sadly, the Russians are looking extremely beaten back here. I mean, don't doubt that Russian manpower, but if I get Tuscany out of this war, it's going to be the turning point of everything. Sadly, Hamburg isn't going to hold on very well. Why does everybody want to take Hamburg away from me? Makes me feel like I've done something wrong in a past life. These battles are not going so hot, and with Hamburg getting out, uh, losing Hamburg on top of things is going to hurt. Also, Tuscany suddenly really don't want to. Ah, yes, we added in ongoing battles to this, so that's something to uh, take into account. Hello, Austria. Oh, Saxony, you say you want to join the war now? I'm not about to promise you territory because you don't even want that. But you've obviously stopped being so friendly towards my enemies. So come now. The time is now to help me out. Always, always, folks. Get your ten... to one. Right, so as expected, this has fallen, but also those dreaded Tuscans are on their way. Hopefully Saxony can hold them off. That is my uh, my one true hope here. Let's just keep beating up Saxons. Should, uh, wherever possible, grab an extra province or two. But we'll see how they feel about... Uh, Piece when I'm stomping them into jelly because I really need these guys out not to the point where I'm going to give up overlordship and such but uh, if I can just grab a cheeky little province whilst they are preoccupied I might be able to do something good here Russia still high on the uh, oh no they're on their way south they are on their way south and they are going to murder my troops I have no doubt about that no doubt at all 
So what can I do about that? I'm not going to fell this province in time. Hmm. I'm sure there's many things you want me to do. Well, they really only want 25's worth. Well, they wouldn't sell me out for just gold, no, no. Hmm. Interesting. But really, they are on their way to kill me, and that is no joke. Grabbing one province isn't going to uh, change history here. Although the addition of the Saxons is rather nice. They are definitely prioritizing defense of their homeland here. We'll see what we can do. Well, we could get our uh, five maneuver general to do something helpful here. Alright, so that brought him down here, but he is too slow. He might be shocking, but he is just a little too slow to uh, be dealing with us. But if I can have him latch onto one of these Saxon forts, then we could have a different story altogether. And as long as uh, we have this shocking unit of theirs preoccupied, See, with them out of the way, I have a relative degree of confidence in the Russians. Actually, the fact that I can't see them tells me more. Makes them more likely to be hiding over in Bohemia. But I do really want to get them out of here. <laughs> Ongoing battles. It's a little scary. What if I run into them around here? It's a real, uh, a real threat. Also kind of threatening because I can't see them. Aha, there they go. So are they on their way here? I'll be able to tell that in just a moment. Yeah, they wouldn't be heading that way if they weren't wanting to get me. But that ties them up. That ties them up really quite nicely. Now the Poles are tired of war. Thankfully the Russians are still high. And my adminocide has been sitting there for quite a while, I imagine. So, uh, what do we do with you? There's the thing, we can't even afford the next one, so I will have to take an idea. Oh well. They're all too good, so I'll probably just take the... Hmm... Uh, just feels a bit lame. But I'll go for it. It's one I don't often pick. It's one I don't often take because I don't actually like innovative all that much. But we have admin to burn, might as well burn it. Uh, sure, why not? Yeah, Hydronum says innovative for me. I gotta do anything for you, Captain Hydro. I didn't realize it, but we can also use this opportunity to squeeze a few of the uh, the unit, a few of the Tuscan units around here. Get those ten to ones, right? Actually, this could be bad. I might be walking into a trap here. Yeah, there we go. They can come and fight us right here, right now. And there's no escape for us. Except we do have backup coming in, and we have the mountains. And they will get a river crossing as well. So that'll be minus three for them. But they have a lot more morale. Why so much morale? 
Power Projection, Army, Tradition, Defender of the Faith, and Prestige, huh? Shame I don't have a guy to help me out there. And Brandenburg also doesn't want to help me out. Brandenburg, I command you. Back me up with your space marine. Oh, hello, Lithuania. Goodbye. It's all just doing a dance of trying to get uh, Tuscany to not crush me here. It's an interesting dance. Okay, now you try to run. Well, they can hold out pretty well. They are Brandenburg af after all. And all this keeping them busy allows the Russians to really roll in. And the Russians have been gobbling up all that war participation. But giving them even a single province is enough to really turn up those favours. Turn up the dial on the favours there. their way through there. This is what keeps this uh, campaign interesting to me. We're still fighting for our life after 130 odd years. So we'll get together what we can here figure out where to go, because I really do want Tuscany out of all this. When it comes to fleet, though, they could probably still outdo me. But getting them out is uh, going to be tricky. Overlordship of Scotland, that I just cannot surrender. But defeating them, ooh, no joke, that's going to be tough. At least Riga is no threat, because I've got them uh, under thumb. So what's it going to be? You're going to go for Stettin? I'll be amused if you do. No, it's bad times for, uh, for Saxony, unfortunately. Hmm. It's a shame I really wanted to deal with Tuscany, but... They're looking after their homelands like a hawk. But that length of war will tick away. And once it does, we can have our peace. Doesn't even have to tick away by all that much. But it is unfortunate that my manpower is tapped. Still, we have lots of uh, Polish forts under control. Let's focus on the good, shall we? And we'll hold out here as best we can since we're surrounded by our friends. There's still plenty of Russians to throw into the meat grinder. And I'm sitting on these lazy diplomats like I always do. When I could be improving relations with my good friends, the Scots. Jake, can you separate piece Riga? Never even thought of that one, but yes we can. And I'm not really, even really interested in their existence. We have good reasons, actually. We could probably break them up with a friend. Say, for example, a friend I plan on fighting. Oops, no, that, that's the wrong one. Yeah, you're no longer allowed to be involved with the, uh, the order. And I'm taking your money. Yet another on the long list of incredible defeats by my hands of the Regans. Don't worry, when you're this good, it just comes naturally. Still those Tuscans though, but uh, we'll have them dealt with. It's actually tempting to make another attack on them and see how they take it. Oh, right, this was not the plan, but uh, whilst I'm here I might as well take out the poles. You know, crush my manpower a bit more. 
Even though they have great uh, everything, we do have the Brandenburg Space Marines, or at least what's left of them. Uh, we need to we need to crush the poles where where and when we can. See, when all rolls are the same, it's our victory. So we only need modest luck. And we'll keep spreading our filth across uh, Lithuania with our single stacks. Now Russia have sadly gone medium. Oh dear. Oh dear, that caught me unawares. I can't uh, hang around in this battle even with the Russians backing me up. Well, then again, it could actually go our way this battle. It's unlikely, but it's possible. Especially if we score a 13 on our fire phase. Oof. Nice job, me. Nice job. What an exhausting war, but it'll all be worth it. That sends them packing really fast, but I just need those damn Tuscans out of the war. Tuscan war exhaustion finally uh, giving me a bonus there, as is their own military strength. To the point where I could almost get them out. <laughs> Requires Danzig for Poland. Heavens, no. Right, if you're not a merc, I want you all scrunched up, since, as I said, we do not have the manpower for this. But we might as well put the pressure on those guys. Hmm? Oh, jeez, I, I am blind as a bat. Let's not do that. That's Saxony out, but that's to be expected. It's the Russians. Good, the Russians are still high. I don't know. I don't need them to be high for all that much longer, but they still need to be there. Just enough to get the Tuscans out, and we're close on that matter. We are close. I'm still not going to give Danzig away though. Good thinking, Jake. Tr crush those Tuscans under the weight of your dead men. I'm surprised my uh, vassals don't want to rise up against me since I'm looking so weak right now, but this is why I save up the money. No, I don't have... Uh, don't have dip to spare, I'm afraid. Indeed, the nobles can always lead. I think if I just manage to squeeze my way down into Tuscany, I can get them out of this war. So I should equip my five maneuver and make my way over there. Mm. But the guy, oh jeez, what are they doing up there? That's a little frightening, isn't it? Tuscany is saying to you Danzig or war. No, they're saying Danzig for the war. Right, that this is really exhausting my Russian friends though. Even though they're high. They won't be high for much longer if this war keeps going. I just need to uh, calmly make my way south. They'll never see it coming. All well, these guys won't. Curse splat. Thankfully, Lithuanians are uh, hmm. ah, well. yeah. Thankfully for me, the Lithuanians are exiled. So, time to use an age-old technique that I've had since time immemorial. 
And that is not throwing my army into the blender in Lyons. Although you could be forgiven for thinking it is. We'll see how this goes, because they might uh, they might hurt me in new and interesting ways. Honestly, though, the addition of uh, Tuscany and all of this has been a monumental pain. It's all right. I don't need to worry too much about them because because phew. Oh wow, that I didn't expect. Uh, they're not going to piece out just for gold it seems. What a fascinating enemy. <laughs> they want me to give up Scotland. To be honest I need them out of the war. But not to the point where I'm willing to give up Scotland. Could give up Lundberg, but that's uh, that's something I really don't want to give up. And then again, they're just going to come in and hurt me plenty. Guess I came in for this one too quickly. The occupied and besieged provinces is uh, not enough to save my bacon there. <laughs> it's funny that the old technique wouldn't work. Then again, I could cut my losses on this one. It just feels like I could push for a hundred percent. But losing Scotland is uh, not good. Jake, what you're saying is you're settling for kissing some Tuscan boots. What I'm saying is survival is uh, pretty high on the priority list. And the flip side here is that I don't peace out, Russia pieces out, and then I'm up and in trouble. Give up Scotland, they say. It's like they see Scotland as being worthless. Then again, I can get Scotland back fairly simply. Just going to have to cut my losses on that one, really, and push to uh, make Poland suffer. I'll get Scotland back. But just for now, farewell Scotland. I'll be back. Overlord Abandoned Us Modifier is going to uh, hurt that one in a big way, but at least it ticks away uh, fairly rapidly. And now we can concentrate on never fighting Tuscany again. Jake, force uh, religion on Scotland first. That would have been an amazing idea, but I don't think you can do that at war. Well, you can. How about that? Great idea. Wish I'd remembered. Well, not remembered, but figured to do so in the first place. Can't win them all. Or in my case, currently can't win much. So Russia's back to high war enthusiasm, which is what I'm needing. Whilst I am back to high getting my keister kicked in. I would quite like to get uh, you back, to be honest. And there's very little to uh, get in our way now. The Russians should be able to manage this.
We'll get hum Hamburg back, don't you worry. The rest of us concentrate.